Hello everyone, let's start with question number 5. So it says tan x equal minus 5 over 12, x lies in second quadrant. So here we are given with value of tan x. So in this we can make use of identity sec square x minus tan square x equal 1. So we have the value for tan x. So we'll be putting this value into, into tan x value. So it will be minus 5 over 12 whole square equal 1. Now sec square x can be find with the help of this equation. So it will be 25 over 144 equal 1. Now we'll bring minus 25 over 144 to the right hand side. So it will be sec square x equal 1 plus 25 over 144. Now taking LCM we get 144 plus 25 over 144. So it will be 169 over 144. So we get sec square as sec as x as under root 169 over 144. So this will be 13 over 12. Now it must have two values that is plus minus. So but in this case as we know that x lies in second quadrant. So it must be negative. Sec x must be negative here. So it will be negative 13 over 12. Now with the help of tan x value we can find the value of cot x. Cot x is reciprocal of tan x. So it will be minus 12 over 5. Now we have sec x value. So we can get the value of cos x. Cos x we know is reciprocal of sec x. So it will be minus 12 over 13. Now we need to find sin x as well. So under root 1 minus cos square x equal 1 minus 144 over 169. So it will be 169 take away 144 over 169. So now it is 25 over 169 under root 5 over 30. It will be plus minus but in this case it will be plus because x lies in second quadrant. Now we have to find cosec x. Cosec, cosec x is 1 over sin x equal 13 over 5. So this is your answer for question number 5. Thank you for watching this video. And please like, share and subscribe.